The Purge, where all crime is legal for one day. But let me ask you a couple questions. What happens if you shoot someone during The Purge and they die a couple days later? Is that murder? What happens if you rob a bank during The Purge but that took months of planning? Did you commit criminal conspiracy to rob that bank? What happens if you steal a car during The Purge? Do you have to register that car the next day? How will the government know that you stole it during The Purge? And finally, what would happen if you bought drugs during the purge, but you didn't consume them for a couple days or weeks after? Did you commit a crime? These are all questions I'm going to be answering in this video. Before I begin, quick shout out to the TikTok creator Leprechaun who asked these questions in a TikTok video and tagged me. And real quick, make sure you hit that like button. It really helps me out for the algorithm. Okay, so where to begin? And not to get to law school on you, but there are four basic elements to any crime. The actus reus, the mens rea, the attendant circumstances, and the causation. You need all four of these elements in order for a crime to be committed. And that's gonna be important in a bit. Okay, first hypothetical, the murder. Let's say you shoot somebody on the day of the purge, but they don't die for a couple of days. Well, under the law, that murder technically happened on the day that the poor purge victim passed away. But is that illegal? Well, no. Let me tell you why. Under the Constitution, we are afforded due process. What due process essentially means is that a person cannot be convicted or punished for a crime that was not defined as a criminal activity at the time the act occurred. And the key word in that is act. In the hypothetical I gave you, the act was me shooting somebody else and them not dying for a couple of days later. The criminal act was the shooting. So what does that mean? Well, it means in this particular circumstance, the derivative of the poor victim dying a couple days later would fall under the act, which occurred when there were no laws. So it would not be murder. Okay, let's talk about the conspiracy to rob a bank. In the example I gave you rob a bank during the purge, which is totally legal, but that robbery took months and months of preparation. So did you commit conspiracy to rob a bank during that crime? During that time? <laughs> conspiracy is essentially the crime of agreeing to commit a crime. It's the crime of preparation. And under that definition, you would think, hey, that is textbook conspiracy for preparing to rob a bank during the purge, but not so fast. Remember, I told you conspiracy was a crime to commit a crime. And if robbing a bank during the purge is not a crime, well, then there was no underlying conspiracy to commit that crime. So it would not be conspiracy. But let's just say that same group of people got together and agreed to rob the bank the next week or the day before or the day after the purge, that same conversation that they had would absolutely be conspiracy. Now let's talk about stealing a car. Let's say you steal a car during the purge, but then what? You have to get that car registered in your name. You have to buy insurance for that car. You have to do all the other lawful things that we would normally accept. So how would the government know that you stole the car during the purge? What happens if you stole the car the week before and you just held on to it until after the purge to make the crime clean? Well, if the purge was real, this hypothetical I think would come into play with a lot of crimes. I think it would probably be a legal defense in our justice system of the purge, the purge defense. And it would probably just depend on whose burden of proof it was to show that the crime actually occurred during the purge or not during the purge. And I'm sure it would be a point of contention among society. So for this, there is no real clear answer. It just depends on what proof you have. Is there video footage? Is there word of mouth? Is there testimony? And that's probably why you would hire a lawyer to defend yourself if you got charged with stealing a car, even though you rightfully stole it during the purge, if that makes sense. Last hypothetical given. Let's say you buy drugs during the purge, which would be totally legal, but then you consumed those illegal drugs a day, two days, a week after. Did you commit a crime? Well, yes. Unlike murder. Again, let's talk about the act. The act of murder is shooting the individual who eventually dies. Well, buying drugs and consuming drugs are two separate illegal acts. So if you purchase drugs on the day of the purge, well, 
you would be free and clear. That is just part of the lawlessness. But let's say you got caught consuming those drugs a few days later. Well, you committed another separate act, the act of consuming illegal drugs. So yes, that would be illegal. So do you see the difference between the murder and consuming drugs where the murder there's only one act but the consuming drugs there's multiple acts of buying drugs and consuming drugs both of which are illegal okay so to recap hypothetical one the shooting it would not be murder if the individual died a few days later because the act of shooting them which caused their eventual death was not a crime and you couldn't convict somebody of the eventual death because the act the actus reus of the crime occurred when it was legal conspiracy it's not a conspiracy to rob the bank on the day of the purge because robbing the bank on the day of the purge is not a crime so there's no agreement to commit a crime you are agreeing to rob a bank but that is legal during the purge stealing the car there is no good answer to stealing the car that would probably be a case-by-case -case basis it would probably be a fundamental defense in the purge america criminal justice system four the drugs the drugs would be okay to buy and even consume so long as it happened on the day of the purge but so long as the criminal activity of consuming drugs was its own independent act it would be illegal to consume those drugs any day outside of the purge do you have any questions, comments, hypotheticals? Leave them down below. And please, guys, make sure to hit that like button. It really means a lot. I really appreciate you guys watching. Till next time.